So we're going to make these LMFAO Party Rock Anthem inspired pants. So I started off with a pair of white capris that I had in my closet. I never wear them, so I figured why not make them into something different. Try your pants on and mark how short you want them to be. Then go ahead and cut them off. You're going to want both pant legs to be as close as possible to exactly the same length. To do this, fold the already cut leg over the non-cut leg, spread everything out as flat as possible, and follow your lines. To compensate for my bum, I usually cut the front of the pant legs a hair shorter than the back, just so that the cut looks straight across instead of being the front a lot longer than the back. Using Rit dye in purple, we're going to color the pants. Fill a bucket up with three gallons of warm water. I like to pre-mix my dye in one cup of warm water, and for this dye, I only used one teaspoon of the Rit dye because I wanted it to be really light and not heavy and dark at all. Then I used a simple piece of PVC pipe just to mix everything together. Then I tested an extra scrap of white denim into the dye just to make sure it was the right color. Finally, it's time to dye the pants. Carefully put your pants into the bucket and use a PVC pipe, a long spoon, pretty much anything to push the pants down into the dye and make sure it's as even as possible. The longer you leave your pants in the dye, the darker they'll become, so check them frequently until you get to the exact shade you want. I only had my pants in the dye for about a minute. Next you need to wash your pants of any excess dye. I like to start with warm water and gradually work my way over to cold water. After this I threw my pants into the washing machine. While I waited for them to wash, I moved on to the next step. I printed out this leopard print pattern. Using an X-Acto knife, I cut out all the black spots. This alone took me a good half hour, so pop in a movie or watch your favorite TV episode or something. My pants are now cut, dyed, washed, and dried, so let's move on to the next step. I put this folder in between the two layers of fabric so that the paint wouldn't bleed through. Using my new stencil and this paint pen, I traced all the spots and then filled it in. This took a really long time, so here is a list of good movies to watch while doing this. 10 Things I Hate About You, Zoolander, Free Willy, Anything Starring Johnny Depp, Any One of the Harry Potters 1 through 7, 7 parts 1 and 2, both really really good. Once you've done that, you need to start filling it in. Again, this takes a really long time, so here's some good movies. Sleepless in Seattle. Steel Magnolias, 16 Candles, The Avengers, Scorpion King starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Anyways, you get my point. Once you're done filling it in, you're pretty much done with the entire pants. I frayed the bottom of mine, but you can toss them in the dryer and it'll do it for you. And now for some really bad editing. Here's the comparison for the before and after. I really like how they turned out, I think they're cute, wild, and fun. So let me know what you think in the comments below and head over to my blog for more DIY.